Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here with my first video of the year on New Year's Day. It is this happy, happy <laughs> New Year's card using the high five set by Lawn Fawn. I will let you know before we get started that this piece was inspired by this adorable card over on Nick's Scrap Shack on Instagram. I'll make sure I leave the comment below so that you can head over and give them some love for inspiring this card. First up, we're going to go over all the things I needed for this card. So here I've got my largest stitch rectangle square and some white cardstock that I've already cut from it. I've got my Henry's ABC dies by Lawn Fawn. I'm using my honeycomb stencil. I've got some white cardstock for my stamped images, a card base, my high five stamp set, my winter sentiment stamp set. I'm going to use the new year from this happy new year stamp. And these little people, I'm just using the balloons because they're so much fun to use with the bees. I'll also be using the little champagne glass and the bubbles from the Happy Wedding set. So I'm going to start with my background first so that it can dry while I'm working on the other elements to this card. Today I'm using some mustard seed and some spiced marmalade for my background. And I'm mostly going to use the mustard seed and I'm just going to lightly dab it onto my stencil. I kind of wanted it to fade away a little bit. I didn't go for a hard edge and use the, I guess, the exact shape of this honeycomb. So it took me a few goes, I guess, to get the shape that I wanted. I did go back and forth just a little bit. And with that spiced marmalade, I'm just going to very gently run that over some of these little hexagons just to give it a little bit of a different tone. To me, it adds like a little bit of dimension, especially when it catches around the very edges of each of those little stenciled pieces. Just makes it pop a little bit more. And once I am done with those larger areas, I'm then going to fill in the gaps a little bit because that white is very stark white against these other colours. And I do want everything to tie in together nicely. So all I'm going to do for that is add a little bit of these two inks onto my mat, border them down and then sprinkle them all over the top. Now for a little bit of sparkle because there was absolutely no way I'm making a New Year's card and starting my year off without sparkle. I'm using my watercolour pigments and today I'm going with the red gold. I feel like it's got such a warm honey colour to it, it just works perfectly with these bees. So I'm going to generously sprinkle that over the top to fill in these white spaces. While that's set aside and drying, I'm going to stamp out all of my images. So I'm stamping out all of the bees, I needed all of them. There's plenty of room on this card front and they're all just in such cute little poses. I've also got that adorable microscopic bunting. The little beehive, I'm going with a few speech bubbles, those little balloons, and of course the champagne glass, which I stamp a few of as well. And while I'm here, I'm also going to stamp the little words in those tiny speech bubbles, and I just can't believe how well Lawn Fawn do with these. They're so tiny, but they're so clear. Okay, so on to colouring. I am mostly using, I think I'm only using Copics for this. And you'll see that my yellow is on its way out and I'm in desperate need of <laughs> placing an order for a reinker for that colour. It's such a beautiful yellow. I think it's R, no, YR31 if you're interested in knowing what it is. It's just such a soft buttery colour and it looks so good with these bees. So I'm going to be colouring in my bees and the honeycomb in this yellow and orange combination. And then I'm going to add some pastels to the, to the other images so that it just keeps the whole colour scheme very soft. I finish off my colouring by adding some white highlights with my jelly roll pens. I'm then going to use some Wink of Stella, I've got the clear pen here, and I'm going to add that to the bees little wings and to the champagne glasses just for more sparkle, because why not?
And so my background dried nicely while I was doing all that stamping and coloring and now I'm going to add the sentiment directly onto it. This was just a common theme through my cards last year where I make pretty backgrounds and then I stamp directly onto it, risking all the work that I've done on the off chance that I mess it up. But I mean, you can always cover it with a banner, right? So, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. But anyway, I am stamping New Year, being careful not to get any ink on that happy. So just those two words are there. And I actually really like how that looked. Now I'm moving on to assembling all of my little images. So here I've got my little beehive, I've added some bunting, and I've stuck the balloons around the edges. So this is clearly where the New Year's Eve party is happening. For my little bees, I'm going to be having two of them hold these glasses, and I know that bee wings are not hands or arms, but I kept trying to angle these glasses so that it was kind of across their bodies, and it was just blocking out too much of that cute image. So I thought, why not? It's Lawn Fawn. These bees are having a New Year's party. I'm pretty sure we can pretend that their wings can hold a glass. So I've got two of my little bees with their champagne flutes and they just look so cute. So here are those letters that I've cut out of black cardstock with my Henry's ABCs and I've got the letters for the word HAP B. I know it's not quite the happy from the P set, but I thought it still works. It's still very cute. So here I am adding them down directly onto my background. And what I've done for the little hyphen is I've just trimmed off a little bit of excess black cardstock from when I cut out the letters. To finish off my sentiment, I'm going to be adding some white highlight just so that it is a little bit more cohesive with all of my images that have these highlights. And while I don't have any three-dimensional things on the front, I'm going to flip my card front over and add my double-sided tape now. And here is just a close-up of one of those little bees. They're just so cute. I love this set. I wish that I was using it more and I think in this year coming, I'm going to have to find more excuses to use it. So that little bee had some foam squares on the back and now they're stuck down with their little speech bubble. With the bubbles from the Happy Wedding set, I'm using my mustard seed ink and stamping directly onto the background. I was going to go with black, but I thought that might stand out a little too much, so I'm really happy I went with the yellow. I could have stamped over it with black if I needed to, but I feel like it just blended in really nicely with the background, and I'm happy with how that turned out. I did the same for this other little bee down the bottom, and as you can see, I've stuck on the little house too. So that little house has some foam squares on the back as well for a bit of dimension. And now it's just time to stick on the last of these cute little bees. They're all on their way to the party. One final touch on this card front is going to be this other little banner that I coloured in and cut out, and I'm just going to stick it on the hat. I think it just looks really cute there. And with the card front ready, I'm now flipping it over to remove the backing to the double-sided tape and adhering it onto a card base. And there we have it. My first card for 2023 is complete. I hope you love it and I hope you'll be sticking around with me this year to see what I come up with. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.